Hi, I'm Aaron Delavadova. Hi, I'm Joseph Karam. Uh, I'm Cooper. Hey there, I'm Rory Keating. A project this big starts with uh, obviously at first an idea you know and in this particular piece I was interested in doing a piece that expressed positive and negative polarities some people call that good and evil to me I don't know I think it's hard to call something negative evil um, we could go into that deeper on another day but that's the general vibe of the piece positive negative polarities and in this particular painting I came up with snakes and a reaper on the lower part of the body moving up into a woman who's an angel ascending into I guess you could say a more positive place. The Japanese style of tattooing is what first really really drew me into seriously looking at tattooing as a passion, as, as an art form that I wanted to be a part of. Originally I started looking at tattoos when I was very young and it was it was all based on you know bands that I was listening to and tattoos were cool, the, the basic schematic. Eventually I came across Japanese tattooing and I started to really appreciate the full full coverage spectrum and it just completely blew me away. Just the way that everything is designed in such a fashion that it fits and accentuates the body shapes was really kind of mind blowing to me. It, it, it took tattooing into a completely different area for me and I've been kind of stuck on it, obsessed with it ever since. I think nothing is more beautiful than when somebody's tattoos all match. And uh, so that's kind of the focus of this piece. And I think that for women's tattoos, again, they're a little harder. Um, I feel like a man's bodysuit is more forgiving, so you can kind of put whatever you want anywhere and it kind of works. Uh, you can work with, you know, tough things, blocky shapes, angular things, things that look really nice. You can kind of fill up a shape however you want and uh, it looks good on most guys because you can just make it really bold. But women, it's real easy to fuck up that natural form. It's real easy to go over something and kind of lose that hourglass shape or uh, even to go a step beyond that to get it where that individual, you know, the, everybody has clothing they wear because they like the way it fits their body. Uh, you know, they want to accentuate certain things they like about themselves. They want to de-emphasize things they don't like about themselves. So this will help them do that with their tattoos in a more permanent way. And everybody has their own little picadillos about what they feel about themselves. So I focus mostly on tribal and mostly like two-dimensional kind of surface decoration tattoos. So, you know, what we say tribal, uh, modern tribal like this, which is not really from any particular place. Polynesian things, Celtic, Viking, Native American kind of stuff. The stuff I do is basically two-dimensional designs that are applied onto three-dimensional people. And a lot of times, it really, you know, a, a, a two-dimensional painting doesn't show off kind of the stuff I do. It's really, it's very, very simple. And so two-dimensional paintings kind of is doesn't have the, the, the depth and the excitement that the, the illustrative things these other guys are doing. So this time I wanted to do a three-dimensional stuff. So I'm working on some mannequins. Again, he's gonna have arms and stuff on him. And uh, it's all got what I'd call modern, modern tribal. And so I'm doing a gold leaf, or I should say doing a gold leaf, uh, metal leaf. And um, in a way I'm kind of treating it like you might uh, put something on a gas tank on a motorcycle or the hood of a car. So it's do the gold leaf and then I kind of pinstripe right around it. We're gonna put a clear coat on this when it's all done. So it'll be kind of, sort of have a custom motorcycle sort of feel, I hope. I just can't be happier at the way that everything's coming and I hope everybody can come down and, and have a fun time with us on the 12th. See nothing but amazing art, man. Really hope you show up. Make sure you come to our show at La Bodega on November 12th. It should be a lot of fun. Come on down, we're gonna be showing some amazing bodysuits and all sorts of cool stuff and it'll be a great time. That's why I'm glad there's no audio. <laughs> <laughs>